Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Xbox Live Arcade Review. Today I'm going to take a look at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the arcade game. So at the start you've got the usual stuff like achievements, leaderboards, help and options, and you can also play online multiplayer with four people, or you can play it single player if you want to, or just play with multiplayer on the uh, on the local as well. So just by grabbing a few friends. You just basically need them to hit the thing, hit a button to join, and then it'll bring up that stupid little message. But Despite the game being co-op, it doesn't actually make it easier on co-op because it actually throws a lot more enemies at you. So it's one of them games where it's still really fun with other players and to be fair you get something like 255 lives each so it's not exactly a problem about difficulty either. Although online I think you only get something like 5 or 6 each. But the whole point is though you just go left to right, kill the enemies, then you might get a boss or two and you have to kill the bosses and then go on to the next level. There's only 8 levels on this one and they are quite short to be fair, the game can be beaten in maybe about half an hour if that. So it's not exactly the hugest game but it's one of those that's just a really replayable. You can't get any power ups or anything like that but you can get pizza which just fills up your energy. And if you notice in the top right corner, the score part, like the numbers like the 16 and the 6 there, is your score. Rather than getting loads of points for killing an enemy, you just get one for either killing an enemy or reflecting a diff well, reflecting a like blade coming at you or something like that, like a throwing blade, stuff like that. So not exactly the easiest way to get points, but still, if you want a high score, just find an enemy that throws a lot of stuff at you and try and bat them out of the air. Gonna shut up for a few seconds though and just let you have a little listen to the music. So there we go, that was a little bit of the music. There's also dodgy voice acting every now and then, which you might hear. But uh, there's pretty much nothing else left to see, unfortunately. So, graphically, to be fair though, I might as well mention that. It's very cartoony, as you can see. And to be fair, I think the HD upgrade they've done has kind of made it look a little bit... Well, it makes it look a bit more apparent that it's an old game. But uh, if you've enjoyed this review, then please subscribe to my videos. There'll be plenty more on the way. However, if you'd just like to chat with me about anything you've seen in this video, then you can do so at vc-forums.com. This has been Demon212, signing off.